Hello guys and welcome back to another day in the sim. In this episode I want to wire the aft overhead panel up but before we can do that I need to flip it over and start fitting all the LEDs into position. To help me along with mounting all the LEDs I've got a spare caption annunciator box here mounted in the vise and simply going to use that to create the pairs of LEDs for all around. That's all the LED pairs created. This little pile here is the orange or amber. We've got three green for the landing lights and two white for the LED, for the align on the IRS. So now, just got to insert them into the enunciator boxes and use a bit of hot glue to secure them. Now I need to allow the Arduino Megas and I'm simply just going to screw into the back of the blank panels. That's the two Arduino boards mounted. I've got space for two more if I require it, but that should give me 104 input outputs. That should be plenty for this part here. I am just fully aware that there are a lot of LEDs here here and here that all need mounting so we may need those two boards as a backup. Now need to create the Arduino shields to mount all the cables too. So finally there's the Arduino shields complete and hopefully we're now ready to start putting all the wiring in. I've just headed inside and grabbed this box of aircraft wiring. This was from a D-Mod on a 212. It's all different lengths but we can use it and it's really strong. There's plenty of multi strands in there and it does, a, it does a really good job of connecting things up. It just doesn't break. I've also grabbed my tie wrap mounts and we'll put some in now so we know where the cable looms are going to go. I'm kind of thinking of running the cable loom across the top and then down each support into the various components. As you can see, we're back inside, almost ready to start programming. All I need to do is flip it round, like so, and I've got this cheap four port USB 2 hub, and it's just a simple case now of plugging all four Arduinos into it. So eventually, hopefully the USB hub will be mounted somewhere in the panel and the lead will run down to the forward overhead. From the forward overhead it will run down to the MIP and the main computer. With everything connected, let's start MobiFlight and I'll show you how I go about programming all the pins. So the first thing I want to show you is heading over to the extras, settings and MobiFlight modules. Now what I've done is I've programmed all four Arduino boards in the aft overhead with the devices that they're fitted to. So for example, 
So for example, the overhead board one, I've programmed all the LEDs and switches that correspond to the pins, like so. Now I don't actually know what those pins do, I just know that either they're an LED or they're a switch. So I'll exit out of there. In front of me here I have a crib board and it's just a table. It's got the Arduino board pins listed 2 to 53 and as I was going along when I was creating the Arduinos I know which wires go to which device. So pins like 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36 are all LEDs, the rest are switches. Now I don't know where they go to on the aft overhead themselves, but to get round that, all we do is we raise a line called test, hit edit, we forget about the FSUIPC tab, and we go to click on display. We select our board, so aft overhead one. This is given the letter Q, so Q pin two, and hit test. And we can see that it's the nav one indicator line. It's as simple as that. And we just go through the list now, stop, Q4, hit test, that's the ADF2 light. We write them down on my little crib sheet here, and that's all the pins done. Like so. Now that's good for outputs, but how do I show you what button does what and what where it goes to in the pins? And it's quite simple, this time we go to extras, we go to settings, we go to logging at the bottom here, we click enabled and we make sure it's on debug and we click OK. We're going to hit run at the top and all we're simply going to do now is push a button. And you can see that that was board S pin 35 and we just look through our, our crib sheet and we write it down. So pin S is board 2 and it's pin 35 and I simply write down IRS button 1 and we complete the whole board just like that very simple and it can be done quite easily of course the other way is simply just to write down everything as you go along but you don't need to do that so now that I've labelled everything up I know what everything does it's time to start programming I'm not going to bore you with that there's been plenty of videos in the past on how to program every single part of this sim so far this is just button and switch this is it's just straightforward labelling each one up and putting it into mobile flight. I'll catch you in 10. And that just leaves now to fit the aft overhead back. It's been about a week since I last did any filming and that's because I went to program the aft overhead and decided let's just program the whole cockpit in one go. That's what I've done. You can see that I've taken the two temporary side screens, the left and right for the windows. I've put them in the front so at least we've got an image to look at at the front. Makes it look a bit more pleasing shall we say. Let me put this panel back up. I've pulled it down to make a contrast adjustment. Once that's up the big test will put the battery master on, see if it lights up. We'll use the lights test button then to see which captions illuminate. Let's go for it. So the first thing I need to do is apply the battery master switch. Well, I've got some things light up, that's always a good start. So let me show you around the aft overhead now. The ELT panel followed by the flaps panel, if I push the test, it's a bit slow because we're in debug mode. All is good. As you can see, we've got a light out here. I need to come back and fix that. And here we have the IRS panel. We can select which mode we want. Into test, and we should get all the lights on. And we do. Still aligning on the right unit. Coming across, we've got the ASP audio select panel. 
uh, we can just select which units we want on and off. This is the panel that I'm having issues with. Either haven't connected the wires up properly or the LEDs have been back to front because they're not lighting up. The oxygen panel gauge hasn't been created yet. And that is about it really. I need to find some more decals for here. But there is the aft overhead now. Let me bring you back. Got a bit of bloom out on the dome light. One aft overhead working, semi working, same as the forward. That's now working. And bringing you down to the MIP. That's all from me, guys. I'm going to do some fault finding, get some of these captions working. I'll catch you later. Sim out.